This is Dr. Philip Rutzlowski at the Advanced Foot and Ankle Center, bringing to you today a discussion about the Charcot foot and the complexities of its reconstruction. When doing a Charcot foot reconstruction, one must consider all the angles and relationships of the bones, where to make the cuts in the bone, and the type of correction that needs to be obtained. Here we use a digital radiography to recognize the Mary's angle is a 19.2 degree angle, which is significantly high in comparison to the norm, as well as a significant drop in the calcaneal inclination angle. These issues will cause wounds under the feet, severe pain, and even in neuropathic patients that don't have sensation. When correcting the angles, one will have to take into consideration the various osteotomy rules to make sure not to create new deformities and make new translations and rotations. One of the workhorse procedures that are performed is the medial column fusion. Here you can see the realignment of that 19 degree angle to a 0 0.1 degree angle and back to a norm of 21.6 in the calcaneal inclination angle. These angles must be completely corrected in order to have a successful surgery. We also had to take some bone graft from the distal portion of the tibia, as you can see that little hole on the top of the, in the bottom of the tibia. The screw fixation needs to be robust. Uh, this is called, in other words, a super construct, as you can see the multiple screws going through the foot. But there's a beautiful fusion site filled in with some great bone graft. This patient is back to walking in regular shoes and was saved from having an amputation. He was told by three other doctors that an amputation is necessary. Unfortunately, this does happen a lot. However, there are plenty of ways to treat the Charcot foot. Surgery is necessary many times and can be very successful most of the time. This is Dr. Witzlowski discussing a Charcot foot case with